Man, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Look at that. What the fuck? That is crazy. I'm going to talk about myself, my opinions, and then I'm going to give you some of my predictions for what's going to happen in the next 10 years of YouTube. YouTube has changed a lot. At one point, it was super individualized and it was very, very home studio kind of vibe. It was use your microphone, play this game, and just have fun. And as much as I want to go back to those old times, it's very clear where the demand is and where the market wants to go. There's a huge preference over over the drama that's happening now compared to the Let's Players, the vibe. I think it was an older audience as well. I think it that's kind of what, what was a lot different too. It was only the people that went on the internet knew about the internet culture and it wasn't so much a part of mainstream culture itself which might be hard to believe but there was a time and point in youtube history where people just went on there looking at cat videos watched tv and read a book or went outside but now it's come to the point where the internet is almost a mainstream media itself it is mainstream and there was a point in YouTube where it wasn't like that. All of these numbers, these weren't inflated actually at all. Where PewDiePie being having a million subscribers was almost insane to think about. I mean, I'm going on and on, but uh, I mean, I, I was 12 when I started this channel and I'm 22 now. I know, I'm old. A lot of the problem now I see these days is that everyone's trying to be the same thing. A lack of branding in a lot of YouTube communities. When I went through the CSGO community, it was pretty much I was watching the same content over and over and over again. And I had the same feeling going through Minecraft today. I had the same feeling going through Roblox where you, I almost feel like there's a lack of individualism for what the market wants and, it, and that's, that's what brings in the demand. There wasn't massive companies making YouTube videos. There wasn't 10 editors editing a video. There wasn't an animator and a VFX artist, a thumbnail artist, an analyst for different types of statistics, view ratio, retention, click rate through. There, it wasn't like that. It was Fridays with PewDiePie. <laughs> it was simple. They had a, what made them unique themselves was basically their personality as the marketing tool. The head itself, the message itself, the arrowhead that stuck into the customers, which are the target. But I guess, I guess here are my predictions. AI is going to level the playing field with, with smaller editors to bigger ones like, you know, Mr. Beast. We're going to see a lack of individualism and a mass spam of uploads from AI people. And one of the biggest concerns I see is people getting monetized based off this work and and other people's work. I'm going to call out somebody named TWD Highlights. He just uploads straight Walking Dead clips and he got monetized. Is it, we're going to see a mass unmonetization strike. We're going to see everyone, almost a lot of channels unmonetized. We might have to, have, funny enough, return back to orgs from the early the earlier days to get money. Um, I can see Mr. Beast uh, falling in the long term. I can see him f having a controversy and basically losing 4 million subscribers, maybe 5. Because somebody who plays the nice guy all the time is bound to be kind of a bad guy. Hopefully, I'm hoping one day there's going to be higher restrictions on pornographic imagery on the internet, which is a huge concern with, you know, with kids being younger and younger being on the internet and things sliding past YouTube's monetization rules or even ads with sexual content is a huge problem in my opinion. I think copyright is going to be it's going to be a mess in the future as well due to AI. It already is. Um I think AI music is going to be coming around. AI lo-fi music is going to be more mainstream. 24-hour live streams are going to be common again. There's going to be content farms. There's already a movement about that. And of course, there's already going to be people trying to sell you on these ideas. Of course, there are. And here's a hot take. I think Twitch is still going to be around in 10 years. I think it's too much of a big platform 
to die. I think it's still going to be around. I think Kick is probably going to die, though. Due to the lack of actual TOS, I think there's going to be a rise of AI streams for sure. I think there's going to be just a rise of a lot of low effort content with high editing effort with AI involved. I mean, you know, that's my predictions. Goodbye.